Okay, here we are in Queen's Wood between Highgate and uh, Muswell Hill, and we're going to have a quick tour around the organic garden with Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hello, I'm Lucy, and I coordinate the volunteers. So we come here on a Monday and Thursday and do gardening, and we enjoy the fruits of our labours by taking home red currants, potatoes, and herbs in season. Excellent. And we provide some things to the cafe, and we sell plants. Uh, which is very popular. Excellent, so some of the food in the cafe here comes straight out of the garden. That's right. Marvellous. Let's have a quick look around the garden. I want to take a sort of general view here. All right, so what have we got here? Uh, first of all, we've got the plant sale area where we prepare all our plants for sale, sell, sale. We have lots and lots of fruit bush cuttings, red currants, black currants, gooseberries and raspberries. And we, they, our plant sales are very successful and we have an open day on July the 4th and people enjoy coming and wandering around the garden Excellent. and buying our plants. Uh, here we have our raised beds. Uh, we have a tremendous problem in this garden because it's so near the wood and there's lots of ground cover, ivy, and the slugs and snails have wonderful hiding places. We also have hundreds of squirrels and pigeons. So unfortunately, everything has to be covered with Netting, plastic bottles, uh, anything we can think of as defences for the little deers. On our right we have our compost system. Uh, three kinds of compost. Here's the first kind. And the uh, green waste from the cafe comes in here, plus anything from the garden, plus straw, paper, newspaper, egg boxes, uh, old cardboard, soft cardboard. Next one is the next stage. We've turned the open one into the middle one. And then in the last stage, we have the final product. This is not quite ready yet, but it will be. Another Getting there. Week, three weeks, perhaps. And we have a leaf pile, which uh, rots down on its own. You don't need to do anything with that, except jump on it occasionally, apparently. <laughs> and then we uh, add that to the soil as a soil conditioner. Great. Uh, here we have uh, one of our volunteers Hello. who is preparing some plants for the plant, plant sale on our, near our potting bench. It's the shed. Shed. Uh, very Got good some bees shed. behind there, I can and see. And behind there we have the bees. We have the a quick look at them. two beehives at the moment. And the honey from this, these hives has in the past won prizes for the North London Beekeeping Association. Right. Last year we had hive collapse and we lost one hive completely, but this year they seem to be doing well the better. We have a specialist beekeeper who comes in and looks after them. Excellent. You don't have any honey for sale now though? No, not yet, no. We're walking past the herbaceous border, which is rather neglected and overgrown, but provides nice flowers for the bees. Autumn fruiting raspberries here, doing really well. Not netted yet because they haven't got any fruit on yet. And a little shrubbery here with a hedgehog house. And there's a spindle tree I grew from a seed. Probably won't come up there. Um, and we have gooseberries, current, red currants, black currants. On your right we have a wonderful new log pile created by BTCV volunteers, and that's going to be for all sorts of millipedes, centipedes, uh, beasties, and things that will help the garden. Maybe we'll get even a stag beetle, which would be lovely. Okay. We've got quince trees, apple trees, with foxgloves growing underneath, apple ages, yarrow. We like to have a lot of wildflowers in the garden. Here's the more formal part, we've got Jerusalem artichokes, many more fruit bushes laden with fruit, uh, runner beans, 
French climbing beans. These wonderful edifices, our artworks, are actually old neck curtains which we've recycled to protect the, uh, these are white currants in here, but we use them for red currants as well. Have potatoes here. Very nice. And then our new greenhouse, we got that in the winter. And in front of it we have our physic bed, also a little overgrown with marjoram at the moment. Golden marjoram. And again we've mixed in flowers such as soapwort and true geranium in with the medicinal plants. Is this an uh, espalier apple tree? The, here we've got our espalier apple trees and we have some fruit. Last year was a bumper crop, but this year I think this plant is having a rest, don't you? Haven't got many on at all. Few. This is another general purpose bed. We recently cut down the old laurel hedge behind and that's meant everything has just taken off. Uh, do you want me to say something about the history of this garden? Um, it was the old keeper's lodge. Okay. And when the old keeper here, a hundred years ago, had this garden, he, this was a laurel hedge and he had his dahlias in front of it. And people used to look over the hedge and admire his dahlias and now it's a laurel forest. And we're gradually reducing it with the help of some volunteers. Now you've got a nice big solar array there. Oh yes, and we have our own solar panel which feeds electricity into the house. There's Pauline. Another volunteer planting out sweet corn. Excellent. And uh, the solar panel attracts a lot of attention as well. Uh, what's this big tree this in the is middle? It's a very old plum tree that's now got some kind of canker, so we probably would take it out because I think it has one plum on it. <laughs> Not doing very well. Are there any other highlights we've missed? Uh, I think the wildflower area here. We've got wildflowers at the moment, the uh, upside daisies are out and then we've got the knapweed nearly ready to be out, purple flower and we've got some vetch and we need to get in there and do a bit of weeding out. So do you want to just repeat uh, when people can come and how they can get involved right. and, and is there a website? Uh, you, if you look at um, the Friends of Queen's Wood website, FQW dot org dot uk and you can send an email there which will come to me and uh, there's a little article on the website about the garden as well or you can call in at the lodge cafe in queenswood main entrance from muswell hill road and they will have my contact as well they will contact me and we're here in the winter probably just on monday mornings but in the summer we try to be here on monday and thursdays okay well, thanks very much lucy Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.